Okay. This is a ruby amber type. It's on a, the emulsion is put on a piece of glass. Let's hold it up to the light and you'll see. Can you see how the, mm -hmm. yeah, it's really an amazing, amazing process. You know how they did that, but I think most of the collection is uh, amber types. Yeah, I, I believe about two thirds of the collection are amber types. See, and then they're inside, you know, a little frame that folds. And then they get stuck in a case. Here you can read, here the case manufacturer here. You know, this case was patented in 1856 by APN Company. Very nicely done. Photographs back then were, were little treasures. You know, they not like <laughs> our computers today. An amber type is actually a photograph on a sheet of glass. Uh, that is the actual piece that would have been in the camera. And as soon as you put a dark background behind it, can you tell now you can recognize that it's a man with pink painted cheeks? It is then added a brass matte cover for protection and there would have been a cover sheet of glass too. All of it wrapped up inside of a decorative case, often with a beautiful velvet on one side uh, so that it becomes a precious object, like a jeweled portrait, I think. And can you tell from the size of my hands it's something that you can hold close. It's also a very intimate portrait. This is a really neat photograph. This soldier is holding a, he's a cavalry soldier. He's holding a very rare gun. It's a, it's a Colt pistol with a detachable stock on the back. And then he's got another Colt 44 in his belt and he's got his uh, cavalry sword right there. Handsome young man. This is on tin. I'll show you. Uh, what a tintype is. Just on a little piece of uh, iron, They're, it's a misnomer calling them a tintype, but that's what they were called. You see them up close? This soldier uh, would have paid extra for the photographer to colorize his uniform, uh, in this case in dark blue here, light blue on the pants, and then he touched up the hilt of the sword with gold leaf and his collar and the, the buttons on his uniform. It's amazing how, with their primitive technology and the long exposure time, that uh, we're just so lucky. Photography was invented right before the Civil War. We're so lucky to be able to see what all these young men look like.